Hi, this is Dwayne with Dwayne B Productions. I'm going to teach you how to use iDVD today. So as soon as you get into the project, you're going to have this revolutionary main submenu. First thing you're going to want to do is name it what you'd like to name it. For me, it's going to be my snowboard truck. So you click on it, snow, and type what you'd like. You can change all of your text to custom settings. Okay. Now, I have my movie right here on my desktop. I can drag it and drop, drop as you see with that blue or that green plus button right there. Okay. That's one way to do it. Or you can go File, Import. video. Just find where it is. Mine's on my desktop, like I said. From there they do. When you push import. Okay. Same thing. Name it as you please. Okay. So now I want to add a sub menu. So this is going to be extra credit, or I mean uh, extras, things like that. I'm going to add them all into that. Okay. So same thing. Everything goes for that. Okay. For your submenus, you can double click on them. And then it uh, comes up. And you can do the same thing. You can drag a picture over there and drop it in. Evidently, I picked a flag picture, but you get the idea. Anyway, change the name up here. Extras. And then uh, you can either add a picture or whatever you're feeling. Just okay, I don't have any examples, but uh, I'm just going to throw my same movie in there. And now it's accessible through that. There's your back button. So now I'm going to show you DVD paths. Your DVD paths are basically a breakdown of what your menu is going to function like. Right here, if you insert, if you put something there, like if I was to put my movie right there, as soon as you put the DVD in, it starts playing instead of going to the menu. And then it goes to the menu when it's done. Or you can delete that. Okay? So that it just plays a DVD, no menu, whatever you're feeling. Okay, so to add a file, like, so when you insert this to a computer that they can, you know, have your video as MPEG-4 so they can post it on YouTube and take half your hits or whatever you want to do with it, you know? So you go to Advanced, go Edit DVD ROM Contents, and then you can New Folder, Add File. I don't really have a use for a folder, so I'm going to go to add a file. Put my video in. Push open. Then, whenever you put it into a computer, you're, depending on what kind of computer you have, mine being the Mac, it opens DVD player, but if they close that and then they double click on the DVD, my video will be right there for them to drag and drop onto their desktop. So you click on your video, go down to buttons, change this to frames, rounded, whatever. I'm going to click frames, click my frame. Now I've got this button that's playing my video. It just plays it, or I can tell it that I want the still image. Now I tell it where I want that still image. Right? Or I can tell it where I want it to beginning the loop of my video at a minute 27, I guess. Anyways, my video is kind of short, so I don't want everybody to watch it in the DVD sub menu. So I'm just going to cancel that effect. Put that back where I'd like it. And I'm just
just going to drag a picture into that drop zone and let it go. Same thing, you can go into File, Import, Images, whatever, Background Video, whatever you want to do. Very customizable. Okay? Now, now that we have all this here, we go to Project, Project Info. Now, see, so you can name your desk here. And pull that up so you can see it all. Okay. So yeah, it's encoding. It does as it pleases, so leave it alone. So you can name the disk to Snowboard Video. And that just, you know, if it ever gets put into a computer, they know what it is. You can encode it, and TCS is standard PL. P pal is the other one for like other countries encoding best performance professional high quality whatever all customizable DVD type this is the standard double layer you know if you have it okay and then you close it then whenever you're ready to burn you can either push this button right here burn this iDVD project to a disk okay or you can go over here and push burn DVD 